Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and if you didn't know, I have a bit of a cult following over on Reddit. It's kind of weird, you may not have heard of it, but people made an actual subreddit devoted to me. I imagine I'm probably one of the only people in the world who have one of these. Like, uh, no one could just go and create it, right? <laughs> Like, there's gotta be some formal, like, application here, like, there's gotta be a vote or something. But either way, I I'm very honored, and we're gonna take a look at it today. I'm sure it'll be nothing but compliments and nice things. Okay, who made this? <laughs> I am not happy. <laughs> Pretty sure it's been done before, but hey, kick a man while he's down, alright? <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I'm starting to think that you guys are just gonna make fun of me on here, which doesn't seem right. Okay, this is all of my subreddit. <laughs> Reason posts. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I saw this. Uh, Jim Pickens, her loyal leader, is expanding his empire. I'm watching a video on YouTube and they're panning over this person's room. And is that a printed portrait of a sim on her wall at the far left? So this was over on the Sims subreddit. Um, excuse me, but that's not just a sim. That is our dear leader, Jim Pickens. Praise Jim! <laughs> All hail Pickens. Oh my god, this is actually kind of scary. <laughs> Everyone's just <laughs> praising him. I'll go look at the video. Look at him! There he is! He's there, just on the wall! <laughs> I love how they pan over it and just like, just ignore that on the left. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Focus on the teddy bear. That is normal. <laughs> Visible nervousness. Every NPC when they hear, Hey there, friends! <laughs> I mean, it does explain the shock look, but why the eggs? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a fantastic cosplay of Jim. I'm jealous I didn't do this myself! <laughs> that is fantastic. I, I wish I looked like that. <laughs> but not like in cosplay, just in general. <laughs> It's an iconic look, okay? It's timeless. Kevin, after doing one episode out of game, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> All right, it is kind of accurate, I guess. For a lot of them anyway. I'm still holding out for another coming out of top video with the bad ending, but I can't see him braving it again. LMAO. Please, Kevin, give us the fish ending we'd... What? The fish ending? What does this mean? Glob glob? What? I'm missing out on some context here and I'm not sure- You know what? I do want it. I'm gonna look it up. How can I look this up without completely destroying my search history? Fish love coming out on top. This isn't what I wanted at all. This is a fish. Yes, I know it is! Coming out on top all dead ending. You can die in that? And also credit to, to Wolf Tooth over here for actually making it through the game. We're just looking for a fish. Where are you? Okay, this clarifies nothing. In fact, I'm just more confused. <laughs> what? The? You know what? I don't think I want to know more. We want to leave it at that. That is canon. Some questions are just Better off left unanswered. What walking up to Kevin during a meet and greet must be like. <laughs> Pretty accurate. I get two things said to me a lot when I meet people in person. Um, a lot at the last meet and greet as well, where it was just, you're a lot taller than I expected, or you're a lot paler than I expected. <laughs> and one person just come up to me and they were kind of looking down and then they just get to me and they look up and they go, oh my god, you are pale. <laughs> it's like, yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> my school has a photo of Jim Pickens hanging up. Should I be happy or concerned? You should be very concerned because it looks like someone either ripped out his eye or put a googly eye on there. And you shouldn't deface a picture of our dear leader. It's an insult and frankly, it's dangerous. <laughs> Send me the weirdest, creepiest videos you can find. Is it okay if I link call me Kevin1811's entire channel here? He may be my enemy, but he's won this round. <laughs> oh my god, this picture looks like I have been under a tan bed for the last 24 hours before taking a mugshot. This was actually taken by um, two, two guys who were uh, there at Insomnia, I should add, Insomnia Dublin, for Jigsaw Youth uh, Mental Health. And they, they told me a bit about their charity, and it's actually a really... Top-notch charity what they do. So if, if you're interested, it's all about uh, youth mental health and whatnot. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely check it out. They seem to do uh, a lot of good. And they even convinced me to, to write a positive message and smile into the camera, which, goddamn, you must be doing something good to get that. <laughs> that is not our Kev King. That is an imposter. Just look at that tan. <laughs> I can assure you it wasn't a tan. It was bad lighting. Jim finally let him out of the basement. Poor guy didn't see the sunlight for years, so now he tans really fast. I keep telling you I'm tall, dark, and handsome, but no one listens. Kevin has a smile that is so heartwarming, but is also the same one worn by a serial killer. Well, thanks. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Healthy problem solving system. Jim, a minor inconvenience. Murder. <laughs> that is pretty much what it escalates into immediately. Like, it's zero to a hundred. There's no in between. Me, goes outside to socialize. Gets criticized a little bit for a solid reason. Also me. It hurts. I don't like outside anymore. Ah, uh, one of my prouder moments. Lying in the dirt in a Spider-Man morph suit at 25 years of age. 
I just imagine, you know that uh, subreddit that it's like um, old school cool and it's like, here's my grandpa before going to war and it's like, here's my mom with her old car in the 60s and then it's like, here's my dad in a Spider-Man morph suit in the back garden. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, horrible childhood. Simple yet effective. Car. Kevin. Come on now. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I don't deserve it. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Kevin has never trolled us this hard before. Did you ever hear about the tragedy of no butt in the title for five consecutive days? <laughs> Look, I I love my titles the way they, they used to be with butt in them and everything. And I do still use it, but I try not to like force it just to use it uh, anymore because Mainly, it's become sort of a thing now, whereas I felt like it was an original thing. It's like, oh, that's one of Call Me Kevin's videos, but now so many people do it, it doesn't feel that original. So I'm like, if it fits, I want to use it, but I don't want to, like, force it just for the sake of it. Because um, it's like, you know, it's it spread a bit too much. But yeah, I appreciate that you grew so attached to my, my title styles. We're all big butt fans on the channel. That's great. I had to do a school project on brands and their slogans, so call me Kevin. More like Bor Ragnarok. First of all, I am not a brand. <laughs> I don't believe I am anyway. I am a person. And second of all, I don't think I can use that as my slogan because I'm pretty sure I stole it from the guy who went up on stage before me. Let's take a look. Okay, here we go. So it's comedy night, but I annoy everyone. This this is the OG. This is the guy who came up with it. She released movie. Thor Ragnarok. More like more like Boar Ragnarok. Fantastic. I Why didn't they get it though? <laughs> I think you just told it wrong. So I went up and told it again. Call the the pacifier with Vin Diesel. That's not new. What? That's not new. Shut up. Okay, well anyway, I went to see Vin Diesel, the pacifier, <laughs> and I said, the pacifier, more like Bor Ragnarok. Am I right, guys? <laughs> see, they get it when I said it. Yeah. That's a good joke. <laughs> Yeah. That guy was doing just like, what the shit? But the point of the story is, why did I not make Bor Ragnarok merch? <laughs> this is fantastic. They made Sims custom content for the Call Me Kevin shirt. That is amazing. Bravo. I don't think I already commented on this post, but I want it. Yeah, I got to figure out if this person uploaded it online because I'd love to see my slaves wearing this. I mean, my, my, my friends wearing this t-shirt. <laughs> I don't think they noticed. Kevin, where are you going in life? To hell. Worrying response, yet not out of character. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> it even looks like him. What? It's a bird. <laughs> I don't look like that. <laughs> Screw this subreddit. <laughs> Kevin and Jim fixing the Sims. The Sims. We did it, Jim. We saved the city. <laughs> These are all far too accurate. I love it. Look, sometimes you need to do these things. You need to do the worst of the worst just to make the Sims dev team aware of the situation so that they can rectify it and patch things out of the game. But honestly, please stop patching stuff out of the game. <laughs> I choked on my ice cream when I saw this. I have no idea when this was taken. I was pretty hammered and uh, I, was at, I was at a party and oh my god, look at me. I'm, I'm pulling the same pose now. I guess this is what I do when I'm just confused. No, it looks like I just realized I left the oven on. <laughs> and I'm like, shit, I gotta get home. <laughs> Jim Pickens in university be like, how do you do, fellow kids? That is extremely accurate. Except, I guess in reality, it would be, Zibi Zabzu, Zabi Nemo. I can translate anything to sin. PewDiePie, my comment section is the worst. <laughs> Call me Kevin comment section. Poor Ragnarok. <laughs> Honestly, it was a missed opportunity. I could have made dinnerware with Bo Ragnarok slapped all over it. I was lucky enough to meet Kevin at Insomnia Dublin today. I don't even remember where Dublin is, but I'm glad to have met you. It's so good at the meet and greets. Honestly, I want to share some footage with you guys in another video of just like me on stage and stuff. You'll get to see me in the real world. It's nuts. I'm basically the same, but just taller and paler. It's so wild. Ah, if you stare hard enough, you can make out the two or three of these pixels are me when I was like 17. I like how they say how little I was was in 2011 when I was the same height I was just like underweight <laughs> Kevin creates character in WWE 2k20 I wonder where he got his inspiration look back off okay I swear if JK Rowling comes after me for the copyright for Steve 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 and 10 man 10 man 10 man 10 man I'm gonna be pissed and it's all your fault god I gotta play more of that game I miss it <laughs> I miss it a lot. Kevin IRL. Kevin playing video games. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty accurate. I think I'm a lot nicer off my channel, which is kind of weird. You'd think it would be the other way around for most people, but I, I just, I'm convinced that 
all my evil comes out of my channel and that way I it's just it, it's like a cleansing it's like a full body cleanse and I, I come out and I go into the real world and I can be nice because all my evilness has an outlet you know oh I could really kill some sims right now or else I'm hungry I don't know, I can't really tell the difference sometimes. I get them confused. Met Kevin, called him a virgin. Overall, he's a pure saint. He literally had glasses that had a message going across saying, Kevin is a virgin. And I'm sure he was in the crowd and my Q&A as well with this message on. I made some merch for Kevin's new video, Dead Child. Look, all right, you can't just steal my merch. You better not be selling that. Dead Child is a copyright to the Call Me Kevin brand. <laughs> I just found out of a brand a while ago. <laughs> I was pretty happy about it. Cinematic parallels. Yeah, you see, everything connects together. It's all planned, yes. In reality, it just looks like the progression of insanity. <laughs> also, I like that I have more trigger discipline with a hairdryer than a gun. <laughs> I just know the damage a hairdryer can cause, you know? Like, look at this. Look at the state of what's happened here. Stop calling yourself a baby boomer if you've never exploded a baby. I think in that context, I am a baby boomer. <laughs> I think it's happened at some stage it's bound to have fire in the hole oh god how many did i kill <laughs> jesus christ he's stomp let's see <laughs> oh, under my infinite mass absolute unit of a man stomping around up there kevin should do a charity twitch sings live stream but only christmas songs well i'm sorry to disappoint you but I am doing one, but it's not going to be only Christmas songs because there's not that many on it. But I am going to be doing a charity Twitch things soon. I made a thing. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> no, it's very, very good. You're very talented, but it's also cursed as hell. It's the most worrying family portrait I've ever seen. And I've seen my family portrait. This is why Kevin is the number one Irish YouTuber. He pays $200 to find out he's white. <laughs> That's from my DNA test video. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm the perfect demographic for anything. <laughs> You're just like, you want this, don't you? And I'm like, no, not really. You want this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm still like so concerned that I'm so damn Irish. Like, one of the tests gave me 100% Irish, the other like 99 point something. You gotta start thinking about incest at that point. PewDiePie, I don't want to kill a child. Call me Kevin. Okay, good. I killed a child. I feel more at home now. <laughs> Difference in personalities. That's why YouTube is so great. We can all thrive together in our different ways. Stay tuned to the end if you want to join a cult. <laughs> this is oddly fitting when you just wanted to watch YouTube videos and end up becoming part of some cult. <laughs> I pulled a little sneaky on you. <laughs> the only thing I would have done different is put my painting there, the limited edition gym that I painted. But then again, that would make it a cursed image. When <laughs> she says she likes a bad boy. <laughs> if anyone wants to steal that idea for like a, a Tinder profile picture, work away. That's all you need. No profile or anything. Just pull that exact pose. Show that you're not wearing the wrist strap very clearly. And you're in there. The Irish Civil War rages on. I posted this to my Instagram. I was just like, just a lovely old selfie. Nothing else going on here. I had this little sticker that someone actually gave me in a meet and greet saying I'm better than RT. Sneak 100. I don't know about that, even though I guess Skyrim guards wouldn't notice it. But regular people, I think everyone did. This is amazing. I know it's old, but I drew a legendary scene. I'm only 16, so don't go too hard on me. That is amazing. Also, now that I know your handwriting, I'm going to copy it and forge checks in your name. It's like, sir, I don't know who you are, but you can't sign checks as Protect Moose. <laughs> Perfectly working game. I fear no man. But that thing... <laughs> It scares me. <laughs> Thanks for calling me a thing. It reminds me of my childhood. Whenever Kevin makes a character in a game. <laughs> these are too accurate, these memes. There's so many of these ones, like when Kevin's custom character comes in and they're just all so good. Ah, yes, the famous scene from Irish YouTubers, Civil War. <laughs> okay, you know, I think I've looked at enough memes for, for one day. <laughs> memes of myself. I'm that narcissistic. I just sit here and watch memes about myself all day. They the only difference is today I'm recording it. But I do hope you enjoyed. I'd love to do more videos like this because it it's weird because I know it's just shit posting for the most part, but it, it does feel a little more personal, I guess, than playing a game and just talking to you guys. I want to do like an update video soon and just like tell you guys a bit about what's going on with me and uh, just uh, again a bit more personal because I don't do a lot of them <laughs> and uh, it'd be nice to kind of have a one-on-one a -on -one, if you can call it that weird situation but yeah i hope you enjoyed this one i appreciate you watching folks i really do and uh, i hope to see you next time bye for now